I'm really excited, so let's get started making peanut butter cup cupcakes. Hey guys, I, uh, I've been seeing videos like go around of people trying to follow like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. I, uh, I follow more comedy channels and video gaming uh, channels. So this, I think it was like last week, um, Brutal Moose, I'll insert clip here. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Brutal Foods. My name is Ian and it's time I let you guys know about my crippling addiction to jars. He has a thing called Brutal Foods where he tries to make uh, recipes from like cookbooks and stuff like that. And recently he did a dessert jars uh, on the peanut butter cup cupcakes um, where you literally make them in jars. Then I guess I'm just gonna call this, I tried a Brutal Foods tutorial on food. So to start things off, I'm not gonna be that fancy. I'm not using dark chocolate. I'm using chocolate chips. I'm not using buttermilk. I'm using almond coconut because I'm lactose intolerant. Woo! And I'm gonna use water instead of coffee because it calls for three quarter cup of hot coffee or boiling water. And knowing me, I'm not gonna wanna have these just during the day, I'm just gonna wanna have them at night. Uh, I think I'm missing one thing. Hello. Hello. Cool. Thanks guys. Bye bye. So it calls for one and a half cups of sugar, which has to be all sifted together fancily. Half, one, one and a half. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Half, one, one and a half. The cocoa. It calls for three quarters of a cup, but it, that just seems like a lot. There's one quarter. Whoosh. And a half. I wanna do like a half of the quarter. Cool. One teaspoon of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Teaspoon of baking powder. Boop. One half teaspoon of salt. That'll work. <coughs> Don't breathe by that. It's not a good idea. In a separate bowl, beat together the eggs oil, buttermilk, and vanilla. But like I said, I am lactose intolerant, so we're using not buttermilk. In a separate bowl, beat together the eggs, oil, milk, and vanilla. Plop. And... Plop. One cup of vegetable oil. of a cup of buttermilk, so I'm just going to use the cup and do three quarters of it. That's about it. Like he said, guess your measurements, because uh, that, that's just how you should do everything. Just guess all your measurements. It's kind of looking the same as uh, his, a gloopy mess, but uh, Hopefully it'll come all together and uh, not be like this. Yes. 
three quarters of a cup of creamy peanut butter and one and a half cups of confectioner sugar. And I have a fresh bag. So one, let's say half. I'm just gonna use this. There is a quarter cup right there. Let's just say another quarter. Oh god. Uh, let's just use a spoon. Another quarter. So we're supposed to mix it together to the point where it's supposed to be like a loose dough consistency so we can roll it into balls and put it in the actual jar itself. So I'm a bit confused because there's no way this is working. It probably requires using hands, which many have been using hands this entire time, but like actually in the dough itself. I'm gonna see how that works. Wow, why is that working? Why is that working? With my hands thoroughly peanut butter and sugar up, uh, it looks like it's formable, so uh, just keep it at that. Alrighty, roll into. Oh, sh well, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, use my hands again. That's that's how they're gonna. That's how they're gonna. Plop, 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 plop. Scoop three and a half tablespoons of cupcake batter into each of the bottom of the 12 8 ounce jars. Place the peanut butter bowl in the center and cover with additional two to three tablespoons of batter. Wipe up any batter outside the jar or around the rim. If we need to, when we get there, we'll have to. Okay, so I'm gonna plop those in there and then put that in there for, I believe it was 18 to 22 minutes. 18 to 20. Yep, 18 to 20. Okay, I'll see you then. Plop, 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 plop. chocolate to melt. Using hot pads, carefully tilt each jar until the melted chocolate covers the top. Let them cool and serve at room temperature. But the thing is, so when Ian did it, he, uh, he put them back in the oven, so I'm kind of thinking about putting them back in the oven after I put the chocolate on top, just to let them melt. But I think we're gonna be fine if I just take them out and let them sit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, so it looks like some of them, some of the peanut butter like didn't stay on the bottom or stay like in the middle of it. But uh, that's that's perfectly fine with me. But some of the chocolate might uh, just melt and overflow, which I mean I'm fine with. And that's I, I wasn't planning on this being perfect, so. So none of that ended up really melting in there. But I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna have it. 
Got a little peanut butter in there. Are you kidding me? I'm making these again. Holy crap. It looks like some of the chocolate chips like melted down into the batter itself. Well, there's just raw batter, I don't know. I can't tell. It's a lot of work. Definitely worth it. So I guess uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hopefully I'll be making more of these uh, baking videos and stuff like that, kind of like uh, challenges and I don't know, hopefully a little more uh, cooking and baking stuff in the future. But I do have a trip planned here pretty soon in August. Uh, it's kind of a surprise. I'm not going to say exactly where I'm going, what I'm doing, um, but I will definitely do uh, another pre-trip uh, vlog and uh, a trip vlog for that. So I uh, look forward to that in August. Um, and I guess, uh, yeah, peace out guys.